Greetings, citizens. Greetings. Now, the prologue. The prologue. Our story today is taken from the book, The Odyssey. The Odyssey. Now, this is a book full of odds and ends. <laughs> <laughs> and it came to pass... The... My master and mistress having a row. What about it? Please, 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 and, of course, it'll all come back on me, you know, the slave of the household. All these years, the, 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 she'll be saying, Lurkio, pick up those bits and stick them. <laughs> together, together, <laughs> together. <laughs> no, well, I mean, it's, it's, well, you've been to all those museums, you've, you've seen all those uh, ancient uh, vases with cracks all over them. Well, this is how it happens, you see? Yes. <laughs> Go. Uh, now, oh, drafty. Now. <laughs> Quiet now, please. The prologue. Now, today... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, today, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, we have the Odyssey. Now, we're going to give you a story. This is Odysseus and the Sirens. Odysseus and the Sirens. Now, one day, the Sirens went off, but the air aid shelter was a long way from... Oh, thrice won. Oh, dear. Oh, here she is. Misery. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear, this is the soothsayer, the soothsayer Senna. Whoa, whoa. Oh dear, she's a silly old pod. She <laughs> is. I have just returned from a visit to Mars. To where? Mars. Oh, how is your poor old mother, dear? <laughs> is she still in the Derby and Jonas Club? Because she was always in the club, you know. <laughs> Mars, the great god of war. Oh, that Mars, yes. Full of faros land across the sea. Oh, you're warmongering now. Go on, do your mongering somewhere else, please. Cry heaven, can let slip the dogs of war. Let slip the dogs of war. Only the blessed will escape their bloody fangs. Well, it'll be no bloody fangs to you, mate. So look... <laughs> Like we do our best. Oh, what a funny woman. She's a misery. She really is a misery. Now, oh, the prologue. Now, <laughs> Odysseus and the Sirens. Now, these Sirens were strange creatures. Strange creatures, the Sirens. They were half women and half fish, you see. And, yes, fish, half fish. And they are measurements, or for those with their own teeth, their vital statistics. <laughs> <laughs> the measurements, 38, 28, and three drachmas a pound. <laughs> Filleted. And, uh, mind you, they're very nice, some of them. They're most attractive, especially the ones with the soft rose. And, uh, <laughs> yes, and they had lovely long fair hair, and they had lovely shoulders, and slim waists, and thereby hangs a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, what do you expect? Wit? <laughs> you expect that? You won't get into this show. Oh, dear. Oh, rape is limiting! Oh, God. Second half. <laughs> is there a potter in the house? Oh, oh Lurkio, oh, I'm so sorry about all this, but I'm afraid my dear wife has no artistic appreciation. Oh, I'm sorry. All I was doing was admiring the bust of a wood nymph. <laughs> <laughs> the wood nymph? Well, would she would or wouldn't she wouldn't? I didn't get, I didn't get time to find out. Oh. And keep out of my sight, rapist libertine! Oh, no, mistress, don't throw that. Please, don't. I was just going to use it. Now, please. <laughs> For the crocuses. Oh, wretched, wretched man. How could you do this to me after 20 years of marriage? Well, my dear, that's exactly what I said to myself. How could I do it to you after 20 years of marriage? <laughs> Linda! Is there a Chamberlain in the house? Cry <laughs> Hannah! Can let loose oh, the dogs of war! Oh, good Cry gracious! Hannah! What's she on about? She's doing the Cry Havoc bit, you know. 
uh, warmongering. Oh, oh, perhaps she heard about me and that girl. No, 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 warmongering, W-A-R. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Yes. Oh. oh, he's a silly old fool. He really is. I think his hearing's going. Well, it's about time something did. Well, I mean, you can't keep bashing away with every part without something giving out eventually, can you? <laughs> Pity it wasn't his mouth, I'll tell you that much. Oh, Lurkio, Lurkio, I hope she doesn't mean there's going to be another war. Uh, I wouldn't like that, you know. Oh, I don't know, Master. After all, it would get you out of the house, wouldn't it? Oh, well, you forget that I spent five years as a youth in Caesar's legions. Did you? Oh, all that pillaging, burning, raping. Oh, oh, oh the times we have. I remember Lurkio <laughs> one time in Gaul. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, all our yesterdays. <laughs> yes, they had these girls, you know, Lurkio, in Gaul, you see. Oh, yes, I've heard of those. Gaul girls. Yes, I've heard of them. <laughs> yes, they call them camp followers. Oh, yes, comforts for the troops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Singers, dancers, musicians. Oh, sick transit Gloria Ensa. Oh, oh I can't <laughs> tell you the fun we oh, had of those girls, yes, Lurkio. Uh... Here now, the wise word, Plautus. It is a well-known fact that camp followers did a lot for the Roman soldiers at the front. <laughs> oh, a stranger approacheth. <laughs>